Welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we are into exercise number 53 and this exercise is going to be very very interesting and is going to add a lot of knowledge to your knowledge bank. So let's get started. If you are very new to our channel, if this is your first time visiting our channel, let me tell you how our content are helping subscribers to get a job and here are a couple of samples. And how you can take maximum benefit of our channel. To take maximum benefit, all you need to do, go to YouTube and search for Expo Hub channel and click on this logo. And with that, you will be landing onto the home page of our channel. And on this home page, let's say you are looking for a specific content, you can type that content in the search box and look for the video. In case you are going as per the UiPath Academy, chapter wise content all you can do is you also have all the chapter wise content available and organized and you can take benefit in the chapter wise manner in the playlist with that as i said this is a very interesting question which is going to come let's say in your interview you have been asked how will you check if the checkbox is checked or not pretty simple question how will you check if the checkbox for example in the acme site in the login you have this checkbox right to make it very simple how do you know how will you check if the checkbox is checked or not if the checkbox is not checked you check it right if it is unchecked you need to check it right or vice versa so how will you do do all this function right if this is the question asked uh, do you know the answer how to do it yes so we can do it so let's get started let's go back to the uapa studio and quickly have a look okay now for this all i need to do is first of all um, I am in the modern design and I would recommend you to start with the modern design experience and here I am using the use application browser activity quickly we will do it and then indicate application and let me indicate okay so let me indicate I am keeping this ACMES site in the background okay I have indicated and then next thing I want to use is a get attribute activity okay so I am going to use get attribute activity simple and I'm going to click on indicate element and I'm going to indicate the specific element do you see the checkbox I'm indicating all right and here you have an option called checked so the attribute attribute you want to pull is the checked attribute okay and the output so if it is checked or not true or false right so that output is going to store in the properties of this particular activity and i'm going to create output called control plus k and i'll create something called status done i've created a variable all you do go to the variable and here you should make it to boolean because checked checked or not right it will be yes or no true or false so that's why i'm making this variable as boolean clear pretty simple okay get attribute means it's getting the attribute of that element that we have indicated to check whether it has a checkbox or not so it could be true or false if it is checked it will be true if it is unchecked it will be false the output would vary depending on the status of that element clear and then after that there is an activity called a check uncheck okay this activity i can use so before i use this activity i'll use a if condition and here the status is going to carry if it is checked or not if the status is equal to true if the status is equals to true then what i want i wanted to use uh, the check and uncheck activity okay this is the modern activity which will be very very useful if, i think in the classic also you have this so i'm using the modern activity and here i'm going to click on indicate and i'm going to indicate that ele element where it should check if it is unchecked it should check right so for this example what i'm going to do if if it is checked status will be true if it is checked then i want it to uncheck clear now if it is not checked if it is false false means it is unchecked if it is unchecked i want to check it so what i will do i'll copy this activity and i'm going to paste it in the else section and if the status is equal to true means it's checked if it is unchecked if it is false it will come here and at this time i want to check it simple so click on save and uh, let's run it so there is an option called 
toggle okay toggle means it will automatically toggle it if it is unchecked it will make it check if it is checked then it will uncheck so toggle means it will just do the opposite what whatever uh, wherever you put it okay De depending on the status okay so now um, let me quickly run it so right now what is the status it is checked so checked means it will become true and it should uncheck so let me run it uh, tuck and run it getting it very very useful so all you have to answer you can use a get attribute activity it can be done in various ways okay there's an activity called uncheck check or uncheck using that i can do it so what happened here it has unchecked now it is unchecked if i run it again it should check it so all the small small things you should know because in a bigger project all this little little knowledge would help you a lot so this coin kind of a knowledge is going to build that strength of knowledge that you have the amount of knowledge you have got so now it should check it getting it so this is quite a useful knowledge i hope this would be helping you so please give it a like and do comment yes after completing all our exercises always mark yes always comment yes after completing and then do share with your friends whoever is wanted to learn ui path from our channel please do let them know we we have this channel where we have got great contents thank you so much guys uh, for watching this video we are going to meet in our next exercise bye bye